Hi, in this video, I'd like to share with you how to clone a project from GitHub in Apache NetBeans and I am Nam Haming from Code Zabalonet. In details, you will learn how to clone a public and private repository on GitHub and then how to build the clone project and run it in Apache NetBeans and You see, this is Apache NetBeans and I'm using Apache NetBeans and version. 12.4 as you can see here okay so i want to clone a public uh, repository on github so i'm uh, learning uh, spring framework so head over to the spring home page here go to learn guys and i want to learn uh, uh, uploading files here and click the link go to uh, report here and you see this is a public uh, repository on github.com click the code button and copy the https url click here to copy and in netbeans uh, go to the menu team read clone and paste the uh, url here and uh, this is a public uh, repository uh, that doesn't require authentication so leave user and password blank okay and choose the uh, destination folder for the uh, clone project okay and click next okay and by default it uh, selects the uh, remote branch in this case it is uh, name main and click next okay you can see it is going to check out the main branch and the default remote name is origin and click finish you see uh, clone completed and uh, that means uh, detects that there are two projects uh, in uh, this uh, report click open project and you see there are two uh, radio projects and choose uh, the complete one here open uh, don't worry if you see this uh, project uh, problems uh, message uh, that's because a uh, window has not been installed yet and, and, and you can see the clone project uh, directory the files here it is a radio project you see a uh, uh, spring boot uh, project with radio view you see and because uh, this uh, project is cloned from GitHub, it is under version control. Right click and you can see the context menu read here. That allows you to perform read operations. You see, suggest, commit, checkout, uh, fetch, bool, and so on. Now, I'm going to build this uh, radio project. Right click and click uh, build here. And you see, uh, NetBeans automatically allows the uh, window. So that's a while. And you see, radio view is uh, running. That's a moment. You see, it is uh, running uh, radio tax. Compile Java process resources. Okay, while waiting, you can see Java dependencies, uh, resources. Okay, the build successful. And you see, it uh, displays the uh, build tax of a uh, Gradle project here and uh, in the configurations here yeah, you can see the dependencies of submarine uh, framework here yeah, you see this is a uh, submarine framework okay open the source code and you can see the main class uploading files application here uh, this is a submarine boot application uh, don't worry if you see the syntax the import errors here yeah, uh, because um, the project has not been updated so um, 
you can uh, reload the project open the java code again or uh, it it is better to close and open the project again uh, reopen the project and you see the errors have gone and let's run this uh, Spring Boot project uh, click the menu run uh, run project here you see uh, the uh, application has started on port number 8080 context part empty and now we can access uh, this uh, Spring Boot application on localhost here HTTP uh, localhost port number 8080 and you see uh, the user interface of the uh, file upload uh, application here choose the file for example choose this one and click upload okay you see successful uh, that means we have successfully uh, clone uh, build and run a project from github uh, in Apache NetBeans IDE with uh, Red Door Build, and we can stop this application here. Now I'm going to show you how to clone the private uh, repository on GitHub. Okay, so I have a private project um, in my GitHub account. Uh, so go to uh, my repositories here yeah, and this is a private uh, repository and you need to copy its uh, HTTPS URL here copy and in uh, NetBeans uh, go to the menu team git clone and paste the URL here and because uh, this is a private uh, report that requires authentication so um, I need to enter git, my git username and uh, personal access token. If you don't have a uh, personal access token, you need to create a new one. Uh, go to the settings and uh, developer settings here, uh, personal access tokens, and create a new, generate a new token here uh, with the uh, scopes is a uh, report here okay now let me uh, uh, paste my personal asset token here okay choose the uh, destination folder and click uh, next now you see it's a uh, incorrect credentials let me paste the token again Proxy configuration, no proxy. Okay, next. Okay, and uh, select the remote branch, which is the master by default here. Click next. Okay, and click finish. Uh, specify the destination folder. Code Java app. Finish. Okay, it has done uh, cloning the project and you see and that means uh, it take uh, Java project and click open project. You see this is actually a NetBeans project so it uh, imported uh, easily you see here. This is uh, also a Spring Boot application. You see the main class here, main controller here very simple right okay let me run this uh, Spring Boot application so click the menu run uh, run project you see a Maven build is running and uh, Spring Boot application is being uh, started on port uh, 8080 here Okay, now we can access uh, the application localhost. You see uh, the message uh, Welcome to CodeJava.net here, which is a result of the handler method home here. 
That's how to clone a project from GitHub in Apache NetBeans IDE. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.